Why the relaxed author? The definition of relaxed is free from tension and anxiety, from the Latin laxus, meaning loose. And to be honest, I am not a relaxed or laid-back person in the broader sense. Back in my teens, my nickname at school was highly stressed. I'm a type A personality, driven by deadlines and achieving goals. I love to work, and I burned out multiple times in my previous career as an IT consultant. So I am not a relaxed person, but I am a relaxed author. If I wanted to spend most of my time doing something that made me miserable, I would go back to my old day job in consulting. I was paid well. And worked fewer hours overall. But I measure my life by what I create, and if I am not working on a creative project, I am not able to truly relax in my downtime. There are always more things I want to learn and write about, always more stories to be told and knowledge to share. I don't want to kill my writing life by overstressing or burning out as an author. I write what I love and follow my muse into projects that feel right. I know how to publish and market books well enough to reach readers and make some money. I have many different income streams through my books, podcasts, and website. Of course, I still have my creative and business challenges, as well as mindset issues, just like any writer. That never goes away. But after a decade as a full-time author entrepreneur, I have a mature creative business. And I've relaxed into the way I do things. I love to write, but I also want a full and happy, healthy life. I'm still learning and improving as the industry shifts, and I change too. I still have ambitious creative and financial goals, but I am going about them in a more relaxed way. And in this book, I'll share some of my experiences and tips in the hope that you can discover your relaxed path too. One of the most fundamental things you can do in your writing life is look at how you want to spend your time. I think back to the concept of you're often a reflection of the people you spend the most time with. In many ways, writing or the path that you are on as a writer is almost like being on a journey with an invisible partner. You are you, but you are also the writer you. And there's the two of you traveling down the road of life together. And so that same question arises. What kind of writer self do you want to spend all your time with? Do you want to spend all your time with a partner that is constantly stressed out or constantly trying to reach deadlines based on someone else's prescription of what success is? Or would you rather spend time with a partner who pauses to take a contemplative look at your own life, your own comfort, your own passion, and the things that you're willing to commit to? Someone who allows that all to happen in a way that feels natural and comfortable to you. If the writing life is a marathon, not a sprint, then pacing, not rushing, may be the key. We have both seen burnout in the author community. People who have pushed themselves too hard and just couldn't keep up with the impossible pace they set for themselves. At times, indie authors would wear that stress, that anxiety, that rush to produce more and more as a badge of honor. It's fine to be proud of the hard work that you do. It's fine to be proud of pushing yourself to always do better and be better. But when you push too far beyond your limits, you can ultimately do yourself more harm than good. Everyone has their own unique pace, something that they are comfortable with. And one key is to experiment until you find that pace and you can settle in for the long run. There's no looking over your shoulder at the other writers. There's no panicking about the ones outpacing you. What we both want for authors is to see them reaching those milestones at their own paces, in their own comfort, delighting in the fact their readers are there cheering them on. Because we'll be silently cheering them along as well, knowing that they've set a pace, making relaxed author lifestyle choices that will benefit them in the long run.